Hi everyone, so I've been getting a lot of questions regarding the Commando 90 training program and so I thought like I might just put a video out here now with just some of the, the questions I've been getting emailed. I do enjoy hearing from you so thank you so much for the questions and it's great to hear from what people are sort of thinking so hopefully this video will answer what you, the questions you have and it'll allow you to make a decision as to whether the program is something you're actually interested in or not. First question I've been asked a few times now is are there any swimming sessions involved in it? The Commando 90 training program does not contain any swimming sessions. It is mainly land, well, it is all land based stuff, mainly running bodyweight exercises, a few other things in there as well. Now, if you were, say, interested in swimming now and you're looking to improve your swimming, say if you were going off and joining the Marines, for example, uh, as a lot of people who are interested in the program are, and obviously at the moment pools are closed, but when they, if you've got access to a pool or if when they do reopen, you still want to maintain your swimming sessions or improve your swimming. You could do swimming alongside the commander during like training program because swimming is low impact and you would be able to program it yourself. So you'd have to look at your program and look at a day when okay, you can fit the swimming session in there. Because there are rest days built into the program. There's quite a few rest days in there as well because I want people to be nice and recovered. So you could do swimming and it could actually complement the program quite nicely as well. When somebody purchases the program and they've got to download it, you'll notice the file size. I think it's about 1.3, 1.4 gigabytes of, of, da of data. Now some people have been messaging me saying, look, you know, it's quite a large file. Uh, it's too big for them to download for you know for whatever these data reasons or uh, for your memory reasons on a computer. But that, that's probably understandable. It's a large file, and the reason why it's so big is because I've included videos, uh, video demonstration for every single exercise, and also a warm-up routine video as well. So that that's really the main chunk of it. If you check out the playlist that uh, I'm about to link at the at the top above me there, that will actually show you all the videos. So I've uploaded all the videos that I of the exercises that are going to be in the program and I've put them up the playlist so if people haven't got or they don't want to download these files and they want to keep them on a computer they can always check them there. There is a, a PDF as well of the the, the exercises so that, that show pictures of the exercise and also a little explanation of how the exercises are performed that comes with the program as well but if you're not able to download the whole thing as a, a zipped file then all you've got to do is just drop me an email after you purchase the program and make sure you've used the same name and same email as the one you've used to, to purchase it with and then just say look you know I've, I can't download it for whatever reason so let me know and then I'll shoot you an email straight back saying well as soon as possible back saying you know, here, here you go here's the PDFs and I'll give you the link to the videos as well I mean at the end of the day if you know what the exercises are and you're happy with them you don't necessarily need to save the files on your or your, or your phone or your iPad or your computer but I've tried to design the program for people who are new training or for people who are also really sort of been training for a number of years. A common question I've also been asked is do do you need to be in the military or training to join the military to do this program? And the answer is no. In the, the day people who are in the military specifically units like the Marines are a very high standard of fitness. They look good, they're very fit and they're quite all-round fitness. The program is inspired by the way somebody would train if they were looking to join the Marines, minus the swimming of course, uh, and so that anyone can benefit from doing that type of training. At the moment, gyms are closed. Uh, not everyone's got access to a home gym. Not everyone's got access to weights and dumbbells and things like that. So some of you have been asking me, do we need equipment? So I'll tell you what sort of equipment you do need. You will need some kind of space to be able to do circuit training, which will involve things like press-ups, uh, planks, these sort of exercises. Something to do pull-ups on as well. Uh, obviously, I would re I've got to recommend a pull-up bar. Uh, you could start a pull-up bar, but I mean, you don't need a pull-up bar to do pull-up. Anything that's going to support your weight goal post, as long as it's sturdy, you can get a good grip on it, and it's not going to fall or move, then you'd be able to do pull-up on it. So you might have to think outside the box. I mean, I've I've, I've done pull-ups in trees. I've done where I've attached a metal bar to a tree with a bit of rope uh, here and there. I've been able to do pull-ups on that. So you just need, like, you do need to do some, some kind of pulling movement. It's very, very ideal because you can't do just push movements all the time. You really need to strengthen these upper backs, particularly if you are going to join the Marines. You really do need to have that good pulling strength because what can happen if you're not doing pulling, you're doing too much pushing, all these big muscles here are going to get weak. These ones are going to get strong, tight, and you end up with bad posture, possibly injury later on down the line. So you need to make sure you are doing pulling. And there's a couple of pull, pulling movements in there. I've tried to put sort of harder ones in there, easier ones in there, and there's also testing requirements, there's also testing levels as well, so you know what level to do. There is a strength training element to the program, it's only a short bit towards the beginning of the program, and it's, and it does require things like squats and deadlifts, purely because I believe they're good exercises, and I don't want to just do a bodyweight only program and sort of forget about weights. And I know I'm making, I know this program has been launched during COVID and lockdowns, but it's not going to be around forever. So I don't want to put this program out here and say, oh, you should body weight. Let's forget about weights because weights are good. They are ideal. They 
you should be able to use a two to work hand in hand. If you're just doing bodyweight training, you're only going to get a certain level. If you're just doing weight lifting, weight training, you're only going to get to a certain level. If you mix the two together, create a bit of a hybrid program, then you're really going to get the best of both worlds and get real good benefits. So much so that the Marines actually do weight training as well in, in training. Uh, they do deadlifts, squats, things like that as well. So they are important exercises. If you haven't got access to those things at the moment, that's, that is fine. And I've catered the program for that as well. So it, it does explain that if you can't do the strength set, so you still got to do a, a workout on that day, but you would do a body weight uh, exercise or body weight um, circuit. You're still you working the muscles of the glutes because there's a lot of like glute bridges and things like that in there. Towards the end of the program, there is an element which will require you to have some, some kind of backpack. Uh, so obviously I have to recommend a good quality pack that's going to hold your weight, but you know, whatever you've got, as, as long as it's supportive, you're not putting stupid amounts of weight in there. So it is very minimal weight. But it's just, it's more, you want, I need you to get the miles up, sort of hiking with the weight, but not running with weight. I also do recommend having some kind of footwear, appropriate footwear, good support, you know, like a walking boot, for example. But I have to leave that up to you. I do advise, obviously, I can advise those things, but it's up to you what type of uh, equipment you use. But um, please take my recommendations on board. Anyway, I hope this helps. If you have any further questions, don't forget to email me. Um, if you're interested in the program, the link's in the description. And thanks again, guys. All the best. I'll see you soon. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.